Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna check out this new Mini Doge 2 Little Mini ASIC Miner from Gold Shell, which has two hash rate modes. We're gonna test each one out to see if the advertised numbers from Gold Shell are accurate or not accurate. And then we're gonna take a look in the end at some profitability. Before we get started here, this video is brought to you by ASICMarketplace.com who sent over this Mini Doge 2 miner for me to test out. If you guys are interested in any of the stuff that they have, I'll have an affiliate link down in the description below, but no pressure as always. So this is it, Gold Shell Mini Doge 2, which does 420 mega hash. And let's go over the Gold Shell official website to take a look at what we can expect as far as performance out of this miner. So there's two hash rate modes. There's the default hash rate mode, which you get is that 420 mega hash, and they always give you like a plus minus 5% based, I guess, on the silicon lottery of the ASIC chip inside. And then you can see that it should bring around 400 watts. And then there's a low power hash rate mode, which is 335 mega hash for around 260 watts. And just in case you're new here, the setup that I have, I have this meter that lets us test the wattage going over the PCIe cables which is what I wanna test here. And this is just like any little other mini ASIC that you've seen. It has two six pin connectors in the back. You can see right up there, ethernet in, and that's really about it. There's not much else going on in here. Two fans to keep it cool. And these things are nice and quiet, but we'll certainly test out the decibels just to see how loud it is as well throughout this video. So what I need to do now so we can start testing some of this stuff is get it set up, get it configured. So let me do that and we'll be right back. Doge Miner's been up and going for a little while. You can see it over on find.goldshell.com. All the little mini ASICs that I have right now. That is the Mini Doge 2. There's the IP address, internal IP address on my network, which allows me to then go configure this over on the dashboard here. And it's been mining for, what does it say, about 41 minutes. So we got an average hash rate now. This is running on hash rate mode, which if you remember, Gold Shell says on the default hash rate mode, we should get about 420 mega hash for 400 watts. So let's see how we're doing here. If we go back over to the miner, we're doing about 427, almost 428 mega hash. And looking at the meter at the wall right now, right here, this is in line over PCIe. This is measuring 365 watts on average. So we're actually doing much better wattage wise and a little bit better hash rate wise than what Goldshell advertises, which means we probably got a good silicon lottery in this little mini ASIC. So we're gonna take that data, and now what I'm gonna do is shift it over to its low power mode, and just in case you need to know how to do that, when you're in the dashboard for your miner, if you go over to the miner here, you can change the power plan. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change it to low power mode. I'm gonna hit apply, and then I'm gonna give this a little while to mine and drop its power, drop its hash rate, and we'll just see where it averages out. And then we're gonna take all that data and look at what is most profitable and just see how close we're getting to the advertised hash rate and power from Gold Shell. Forgot to mention running hash rate mode, we're around 58 decibels and that's being measured by my phone about a foot away from the miner. Now that we're in low power mode, we're around 52, 53 decibels. So not too much quieter, but it's still really quiet overall. I mean, to put it in perspective, it's around like a low hum of a refrigerator or maybe a light rainfall or a really moderate conversation happening in like another room. So it's really quiet. I definitely don't notice it with all the other mining stuff that's happening in my house. So overall, really quiet. Depends on the temperature though, because if the fans start ramping up, if it is in a hot environment, obviously the sound is going to escalate with that as well. So anyway, we've been running low power mode now for a little while. You can see we're doing 344 mega hash on average for about a half hour of mining, which to bring you back and remind you, the uh, advertised mega hash from Gold Shell is 335 at 260 watts. So we are doing better hash rate wise at 344, 345 mega hash. And we're also doing better at power usage wise coming in around 235 watts running in low power mode. So. The next thing to do that I wanna do at least is take all that information and put it into what to mine with an electric rate and take into account pool fees and see are we gonna be profitable at all and just what mode seems to be more profitable. And like disclaimer on this, I usually don't do profitability like this because it's just gonna change all the time. But 
I just figured, what the hell, let's do it. At least you can see the numbers, input them for yourself with your electric rate when you watch this video to decide if this is something that you wanna get into. And I'll leave my opinions on this stuff at the end of the video once we finish this. So let's go over and input all that information into what's in mind. So we're gonna go back over to the computer here and you can see here what I've done is, uh, by the way, it's a Doge miner, but you merge mine Litecoin. So you get both. If you don't know, I guess I should have went over that at some point in this video. So I'm taking that into account here and um, I've put in the hash rate for both, which is 0.43 giga hash uh, on each Doge and Litecoin based on what I got for hash rate mode on this miner. And I've also put in the power that it was using, which you can see right here is 365 watts. And I just left the default 10 cent electric rate, though I know realistically not many people pay that anymore. So we'll calculate that. Also got the pool fee in by the way, 4% pool fee over on F2 pool, which is what I'm using uh, right now for this video. And you can see profitability is hilarious, making eight cents per day, $2.51 per month, and a whopping $30.49 per year as of the price of everything right now. But hey, I mean, I guess it's profitable. Let's go over to low power mode, same thing. Have all that information entered into what to mine. We'll hit calculate here, compare profitability. You can see per hour we're making a cent, per day 22 cents, per month six bucks, 51 cents. And on the year, we are rich because we are making $79.21. So you can see if you're smart and you put it together and paying attention, running low power mode, as of right now seems to be the best for at least that 10 cent electric rate and for sure any electric rate above that. If you get to lower electric rates, it might be different. So if you are blessed, blessed, blessed by the crypto mining gods and you have a really low electric rate, uh, take that into account for sure in any calculations that you do. So let's get to some opinions on this stuff. Um, it's hard, right? Because this thing is like $600, $500 and you're looking at break even of like six, seven, eight years. When you get to these little mini A6, I really think like if you're getting into this stuff, it's like a hobby, just don't even worry about break even and profitability. Um, it's something cool. Yeah, it's not gonna burn too much electric for you realistically, even if you get some of the smaller versions uh, of these, some previous generations of these, it's not gonna burn too much electricity for your introduction into crypto mining, just to kind of figure out how all this works. You don't have to build a rig of GPUs that may seem really complicated. Something you can get that is pretty plug and play and you have some really handsome YouTubers out there that are making videos to show you how to set it up and get everything going. But if you are the mindset, you're a hardcore miner and you've been building rigs, you got hundreds of GPUs all over the place, obviously looking at something like this, the way the market is right now, the prices are right now, you're like, Mike, that doesn't make any sense from a business standpoint to invest in, and I would absolutely not disagree with you. You also gotta look at times are what they are, profitability, prices are extremely low, and hey, if all this stuff went 10X, 20X, 50X tomorrow, it's a whole different story. But taking into account everything for where it is and what it is right now, I totally get it. But. If you do want to buy one of these, head over to ASIC Marketplace. I'll leave a referral link down in the description below. I've also done one on the Cadena Miner. I'll leave a link to that video up in the card above if you want to check that out. Overall, these things are pretty cool, pretty easy to put together, but I totally understand both sides of the equation here, whether it might be worth it for you financially or just something fun to mess around with and get mining in crypto. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU, ASIC, FPGA, and crypto mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Link will be down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.